Fire. One of the most powerful forces in nature. It has the ability to cause great destruction or be harnessed for the good of many. Our species has harnessed the power of fire for thousands of years. Before us, other archaic species like Homo erectus also used it as a powerful tool. Fire provides unlimited opportunities. The control and the ability to produce fire was a turning point in the technological evolution of humans. It provided a source of warmth, protection from predators, cooking food, and opportunities to create more advanced tools and clothing. Additionally, fire allowed human activity to continue into the dark or even allow for survival in colder regions. Fire was first harvested by our ancient ancestors likely over a million years ago. Evidence from an event as small as a campfire can be hard to detect in the fossil record. Findings from the Wonderwork Cave site in Northern Cape Province of South Africa provide the earliest evidence of controlled use of fire. Intact sediments were analyzed using micromorphological analysis and Fourier transform infrared microspectroscopy and yielded evidence in the form of burned bones and ashed plant remains. The burning at this site took place around one million years ago. One million years is an incredibly long time ago, but it might not be the earliest finding discovered. In Chesawanja, archaeologists found red clay clasts dated to 1.4 million years ago. These clasts must have been heated to around 400 degrees Celsius or 750 degrees Fahrenheit to harden. However, tree stumps burned in bushfires in East Africa produce clasts in which, when broken by erosion, are like those described at Chesawanja. Controlled use of fire at Chesawanja is unproven. In Kubifora, Sites show evidence of controlled fire by Homo erectus 1.5 million years ago with findings of reddened sediment that could only come from the heating of 200 to 400 degrees Celsius or 400 to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. In Zihandu in Shanghai Province, China, the black, blue, and grayish green discoloration of mammalian bones found at the site illustrates the evidence of burning by early hominids. In 1985, a parallel site in China, Yihumo in Yuhan province, archaeologists found blackened mammalian bones which date back to 1.7 million years ago. A site at Banat Ya'akiv Bridge, Israel, has been claimed to show that Homo erectus or Homo ergaster controlled fires between 790,000 to 690,000 years ago. Though many of these sites are controversial, the overall trend demonstrates that fire was being controlled around a million years ago. Modern humans were not around at this time. A much older species was. Species like Homo erectus and Homo habilis both lived over a million years ago. Though they were primitive in many aspects, they were able to create complex tools. But how did they actually create fire? The first controlled use of fire was not created by man. Natural fires happen in nature relatively often, especially in dry places like the savannas of Africa. Early hominins likely witnessed these fires and took advantage of them. We have seen in the modern day chimps, monkeys, and some birds go into burned landscapes and forage for food. Our early ancestors likely had the same habit. Over thousands of years, these primitive men would learn about how fire works and occasionally use it for themselves. After a large fire, they could get some stuff burning and attempt to keep it burning. This caused the formation of hearths and camps around these fires. Over generations, this technology would be used, but I can imagine this technology being lost and rediscovered among different groups of apes. This topic reminds me much of the movie 2001 Space Odyssey when the early humans learned how to use tools. These primitive men would have been much of the same, discovering and using this dangerous technology. I'm sure most of you know how unpredictable and dangerous fire can be. It can be hard to keep it going and then there's always the risk of self-injury. Later innovations would be made in the technology such as creating fire through friction such as a bow drill or even by hitting rocks together. 
The innovations were likely not created until relatively recently, and Homo erectus may have never seen this technology. I do want to point out that if fire was obtained from a natural fire, these people could have kept it going for a very long time. Perhaps they would have even had a plethora of wood sitting around until a fire inevitably happened. Now I want to cover how important fire was for early humans. Fire acted as a source of warmth. This allowed humans to get through low nighttime temperatures without the need of extravagant shelters or group huddling. It also allowed humans to survive in much colder environments. No longer were humans limited to tropical or subtropical environments. Fire could also be used to lengthen the duration of a day. Instead of going to bed at sundown, they could do various things like creating tools or forming bonds. Fire could also be used to ward off predators during nighttime or even daytime. Another main use of fire was in cooking. This caused an increase in hominid meat consumption and calorie intake. Additionally, meat could be dried and stored for traveling or for surviving hard times. Wildfires were also started by ancient people. Their fires could clear out vegetation for hunting and also kill prey in the fire. Evidence has been found in caves that suggest fire was used to clear out caves prior to living in them. Though living in caves sounds archaic to us modern men, caves are actually a great form of shelter. Not only did it protect people from predators, but also the climate. Caves paired with fire provided a living space that was dry and warm. Another very overlooked aspect of early fire use was in tool and weapon making. An archaeological dig in Germany revealed eight wooden spears and a handful of other remains. This site was dated to around 400,000 years ago and was likely inhabited by Homo heidelbergensis. The spears were found along with stone tools and horse remains. One spear was found in the horse's pelvis. These spears were significant because not only is wood rarely preserved in the fossil record, but they are also fire hardened. Fire can be used to harden wood, and this can make wooden spears much more effective. In South Africa, early humans around 160,000 years ago used fire to alter properties of stone. A fine-grained local rock called silcrete was heated and then used in the making of complex blades and arrowheads. Fire helped our species and our other relatives in countless ways. It has been used for likely millions of years. Fire is still used today for many of the same things our ancient ancestors did with it. Though it is not always the most efficient way of heating a space or cooking food, a primordial feeling of importance is made within us all when we see those bright flames. Sitting around a campfire, it is easy for us to gain a sense of appreciation for the flames before us. This feeling is likely ingrained in our minds to a time when the only thing keeping us from death were those precious flames.